Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Perfect. Good morning. Now, you all know that your response to that question sets the energy for the day. Let's try again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome here this morning. We're so excited to be here. Uh, we welcome you to the forum, Putting Health Data to Work in our states and in our communities. I'm Dwayne Spradlin, CEO of the Health Data Consortium. Um, we'll say more about it later, but we are uh, pleased to be in the 1871 facility today. We were walking around for a few minutes yesterday, and you could just feel the uh, business models getting innovated and development happening in the corner. So in solidarity with the developers, I dropped my tie, and I'm getting my due. <laughs> Some of you may or may not be familiar with the Health Data Consortium. You may know um, an event that we convene every year called the Health Data Palooza held in Washington, D.C. So, for example, this past June, 2,000 people came together from across the healthcare system, both leaders, policymakers, even data scientists and developers, all to talk about how to put health data to work. Um, what I'd like to do right now is um, share with you a video that talks about the Health Data Consortium and know that our job now is to actually work throughout the economy with organizations and individuals to really make health data come to life, to improve the health care system that we all share today. So let me start by sharing a video with you. Data is everywhere. It's powering the way we make decisions, discover insights, and optimize performance. It is transforming the worlds of weather forecasting, sports, science, finance, and retail. And in the world of data, health data just might be the most powerful. The volume of health data generated by a $3 trillion annual economy that encompasses government, business, research, and providers is enormous. And it is growing exponentially. Now is the time to put it to work. The Health Data Consortium is an advocacy and membership organization dedicated to mobilizing health data to transform the U.S. healthcare system. We are cultivating the new thing, innovative practices, and system-wide reforms needed to tackle the enormous and complex challenge of harnessing health data. We are a network bringing together key health data stakeholders to promote critical collaboration between the public and private sectors. We provide leadership, setting the priorities and shaping the practices, standards, and policies from which health data can grow. We are catalysts sparking excitement, investment, and critical innovation in the use and practice of health data. We are advocates, championing the cause of health data and promoting its productive use while also protecting the rights of patients. What will success look like? Imagine a healthcare system that empowers patients, where providers and policymakers will develop more effective treatments and interventions, where we deliver better care, better health, and lower costs for all Americans. Our vision is a robust healthcare ecosystem powered by health data. What role will you play? Join Health Data Consortium. Become a member and not lead the way. For more information, visit healthdataconsortium.org. As you heard, our, our vision is a robust healthcare system powered by health data, and that means better informed and empowered patients. Doctors, accelerated research, better allocation of resources, and real innovation and entrepreneurship around the data amplifying and accelerating the benefits. Evidence and data will drive the system. What if we could answer these questions? Which patients require interventions right now? What environmental and social factors correlate to more efficient disease management? How do we improve medication adherence? What if we could integrate better data and information into key areas of medicine? Decisions at the point of care, patient monitoring, better interventions, clinical trial design. What if we could integrate better data and information in the uh, key areas of medicine? Decisions at the point of care, patient monitoring, better interventions. What if we could really empower the patient both with more health information, but also their data, driving better health and wellness across the system? Vast stores of data are now available, from claims, the cost data, clinical research data, vital statistics, environmental data. Behavioral and new sensor-rich consumer and medical device data represent an absolute treasure trove 
But we have much to do. The data too often is siloed. We don't have the standards or the methods to share. And very often policy and culture represent bigger roadblocks than the technology itself. Our goal is to work through these areas and partner with every corner of the healthcare ecosystem to put the data to work. We have much to do. I'd like to provide you with a little bit of background on today's event. The Health Data Palooza has taught us that there is indeed a system-wide passion to use health data in new and important ways. But we also know that different areas of the healthcare system have different challenges and different opportunities to put that health data to work. The issues in the insurance arena, for example, are very different than those for county health departments trying to put health data to work to improve in the lives and the health of its people. So today we kick off an effort to focus more energy on working with states, counties, cities, and communities, and all the organizations that work with them in this regard. On a fortuitous call about six months ago that I was having with Stephen Konya, who is the Chief Operating Officer for the Illinois Department of Public Health, we talked about this vision of bringing the message into the states, cities, counties, and communities. And that was, a, that was a, an exciting call indeed. We said, to ourselves, we're, we said to ourselves, this is important, and Stefan said to me, why don't you do that in Illinois? Illinois is a tremendous hub of innovation and new thinking around this area. Let's make that happen. And indeed we did. So from that, a great partnership was born. We're thrilled to be doing this forum here in partnership with the state of Illinois and with the Illinois Department of Public Health. Illinois and the region are on the leading edge in a number of areas that, that, that you will see some of that in action today. Today would not be possible without the leadership of those here in Illinois and Stefan and his office who have been true partners in this endeavor. We'd also like to thank our other sponsors who made this day possible and supporters. The California Healthcare Foundation, ESRI, and the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. And a special thanks to 1871. This innovative space we're working in today and the 1871 organization are already nationally recognized. Their amazing energy and spirit are on display here. They not only generously made the space available, they were true partners in bringing it all together. So thank you, 1871. As we get started, we want to touch upon some helpful information for the day. Out of courtesy to your fellow participants, please turn off the ringers on your electronic devices. We encourage you to tweet about the day. Please use the hashtag, hashtag health data. Refer to your packets for additional information. You'll also find, for example, a Wi-Fi password in there if you need access to the Wi-Fi system. Finally, our volunteers are wearing 1871 t-shirts and can answer any questions that you'll have. Now I'd like to tell you about the program agenda for the day. The day has been divided into four sections. The power of health data, leveling the playing field, government as a health data catalyst, and it takes a village of catalysts and partners. You'll see all of these on the agenda in your information packets. We'll end with a lightning round that we think will be a lot of fun. And then, of course, there's a reception. So at 5.15, uh, we'll break for a reception right here in the facility. Um, and that'll be an opportunity for you to meet other people, share ideas, and get to know each other. One last thing before we get started. We'd like to recognize several distinguished individuals um, in the health and data fields who are here to join us today. I'd like to recognize Jim uh, O'Connor, Interim CEO of 1871 and the Chicago Entrepreneurial Center. Kristen Barrett, Executive VP, 1871 in the Chicago Entrepreneurial Center. Michael Gelder, Senior Health Policy Advisor for Governor Pat Quinn. Jennifer Kohler, Executive Director, Get Covered, Illinois. John Holton, Director, Illinois Department of Aging. Raul Ricari, Executive Director, Illinois Health Information Exchange Authority. Laura Zaremba, Director, Illinois Office of Health Information Technology. Joe Musser, CEO of the Wisconsin Health Information Organization. Dr. Ram Raju, CEO of the Cook County Health and Hospital System. Dr. Bakara Kosher, Commissioner, Health, uh, Chicago Department of Public Health. Fred Hope, President, Illinois Technology Association. Michael Robinson, Vice President, U.S. Health and Life Sciences, Microsoft. Tom Churchwell, entrepreneur, venture capitalist, and CEO of the Medicus, Inc. Under, uh, Andrew Moyer, Chief of Staff, Illinois Department of Commerce. Jasmine Poole. Chicago Health 2.0, and other VIPs you will hear from today and throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get started. It is my distinct pleasure right now to introduce our first guest of the day. Her name is Crystal Thomas. We have an event full of exciting speakers and presenters, but Crystal, we're honored to have you open up the day for us. She is responsible for overseeing the implementation of the governor's policy agenda and advising the governor on critical policy, budget, and management issues. As the deputy governor, 
Crystal's primary areas of expertise include Medicaid and healthcare reform, performance management, budget, policy development, and program design. I am also told that she is an absolutely fabulous human being, and we're excited to have her here today. So with that, let me please now introduce Crystal Thomas. 